Do you ever draw a blank when someone asks you what you'd like for a gift? If so, I've got you covered. These are five of my favorite things that I'd like to share with you that you might want to put on your Santa list. Let's get started. I was able to get some discount codes for some of these items, as well as checked out some of the Black Friday sales that I know are going on to get you the best deal. And I have a comprehensive list of all of those things linked in the description. It'll be a list you can print out or click on it as you need. I'm also going to link each of the items I'm talking about in the corner up above. You don't have to click on it during the video. You can come back to it. The video is broken down into chapters, so you can go back to any or all of the items that you want to put on your gift list. Let's go shopping. The first thing I want to share with you is a gift that my husband actually got for me a few years ago, and it's a silicoil brush tank. And so this is used to clean your brushes in between colors. It's got this nice coil in it that gets all of the paint off of the brush and there's water in the tank as well. It's the coolest thing. I love this thing so much. Apparently my husband used one in high school art class and so he hunted it down on Amazon, found it for me, and I have been in love with it ever since. You can also find another version of this a little more affordable at Michael's that has a different kind of wire mesh inside. Next up is paint pens. If you don't have any, you definitely need some. If you already have some, I guarantee you probably always want more. Thule Art paint pens are now my go-to for quite a few reasons. I love that they put numbers on the caps so that you know what color you're using. And they've also added this new window that shows you how much pigment is actually left in the pen. And then on top of that, the coverage is just really, really good. And they are more affordable than a lot of other paint pens. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. I just really love these pens. Truly even has dual tipped pens with two different size nibs. This kit is perfect for someone's first set or if you like to travel with your pens. And there are so many color options. Truly is sending me one of the pastel sets for the giveaway in Sunday's live stream. In the meantime, Here's the Black Friday deal on Amazon, and it's only good till Sunday. Thule Art was kind enough to give me a 10% discount code that you can use on their Thule Art website through December 5th. And don't forget to tune in for the live stream on Sunday so that you can get a chance to win that pastel paint pen set. It is awesome. Next up is the Ayuli Metallic Watercolors. These are all of the dot cards that I started with and I now also have a set of the glitter paints. These can be a little pricey, so that's why it's a nice thing to put on a gift list. Like my husband says, gifts are not about what you need, it's what you want. The dot cards are a pretty affordable way to play around with this amazing shimmering paint. I swear this stuff is kind of therapeutic. It's very relaxing to take it and put it on a rock, even put it on paper, wherever you're putting it on and just watch that shimmer kind of settle as the paint dries and it is so calming. I love these paints. They also look absolutely amazing. Once you get resin on, it just brings out the sparkle even more. This is actually my very first set of watercolor paints, this little dot card that I got from Ayuli. Ayuli's Black Friday special runs from November 24th to the 26th. It's 10% off on her website. And if you don't catch that one, I have a 5% off code for you here that you can use at any time. Next up on my list is my numbered dotting tool set from DIY Mandala Stones. You guys see me use these a lot. I love them because they're made out of recycled plastic and I think that's great. But I just love that there's two sizes on each dotting tool and then the numbers help you graduate them up if you're a beginner or even if you're not a beginner. With my mandalas, I tend to use the even numbers first and go up in size two, four, six, eight to graduate my dots out to the outside of the mandala. And then if I decide to do some top dots to kind of bloom the design out, I'll come back to the odd numbers and go with one, three, five, seven, and so on until I get out to the outer edges of the mandala. They are currently on sale on Amazon, so check out that link if you'd like to get a set for yourself. This mandala was really meant to just demo the metallic watercolors and the numbered dotting tools, and it accidentally turned out really awesome. So hopefully it got the point across if you were sitting on the fence about either one of these products. The metallic watercolors are awesome and so are the numbered dotting tools. If you've been around for any length of time, you know that I've created some designs to sport my love of this 
hobby. And this morning I'm releasing a new design into the catalog that is so new that I don't even have any of the items with this yet. So I hope you love this as much as I do. You can head over to the shop at any time and it's a print on demand service so you will get your products quickly after you order them. There's a huge variety of products and price ranges. You might like a mug or a t-shirt or a hoodie or a Christmas stocking or many stickers or how about a fanny pack to take your kindness rocks when you hide them? Spreadshop is running a Black Friday special where the entire site is 35% off, so don't miss out on that sale. You guys, we made it to our first day of Rocksmiths and there's still 11 more days to come. Check out the second day of Rocksmiths video that I have for you on the screen. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.